If you continue raising interest rates as you plan, unemployment will be 4.6% by the end of the year. And that would be about 2 million people. If you could speak directly to the 2 million who you're planning to get fired over the next year, what would you say to them? Inflation is extremely high, and it's hurting the working people of this country badly, all of them, not just 2 million of them. And we are taking the, the only measures we have to bring inflation down. And putting 2 million people out of work is just part of the cost, and they just have to bear it? Will, they, will, will working people be better off if, if we just walk away from our jobs and, and inflation remains well, 5 6 percent? There have and, been 12 times that we've seen a one-point increase in the, in the unemployment rate in a year. How many times did the economy fail to fall into a recession after doing that out of 12 times? I think the number is zero. I think the number is zero. That's exactly right. Ouch, Elizabeth Warren bringing the heat. And this is where I'm shocked, but I actually agree with her. Uh, This is a situation where Jerome Powell, folks, has gone on record many times. You can get on the Google if you think I'm making this up. And he has said it is an unfortunate pain point that we're going to have to get to to see unemployment go up. And his idea is if unemployment goes up because we are raising the cost of borrowing, raising the cost of doing business, that companies will lay people off. Now, we've seen big tech do that and he's flirting with the recession because he's hoping that people will companies will lay people off what happens then was is, is, is the job demand goes down in his mind and so now people aren't having to pay as much because he knows that wage pressures rachel are causing right. inflation to be stubborn but here's the challenge with what he said it's not the only tool he has the fed screwed this up The Fed flushed too much money into the economy and got us to this point because they were worried about the pandemic. This is what happens when the federal government and the federal bank gets involved in the economy. He then says, ironically, what would you have us do, Senator Warren? Walk away from our jobs? Yes, actually. (laughs) I would like you, feckless Fed chair pal, to walk away and just let the economy figure it out. Do its thing. Here's why. Yes, inflation has made the household budget much higher. However, to force 2 million people or maybe more, because here's the deal. These are projections. We're at 3.4% unemployment right now, historic lows. If it gets pushed, and there are quotes where he said, Rachel, it may get to 6% unemployment, and that may be what it takes. So you're going to drive millions of people to unemployment, and you think that's going to fix it. But here's the issue. We've got five to six million jobs available right now. That was my question. I know. I'm paying it off. We've got five to six million jobs available right now in this economy. So if you drive an unemployment, they're going to go get another job and we're not going to fix it. And oh, by the way, let's step back, Rachel. Has the interest rate increase done anything to unemployment so far? Mm. No, it has not. Mm. He's been steadily raising the rates and unemployment is still low. It's still low because there's so many jobs. So why does this matter to you folks who come to a money show? Because... We have debt-free screamers every day on this show, every week, every month, and inflation isn't affecting them because they're not looking to D.C. and the Fed and interest rates. They're taking control of their money. So these headlines, and while it is painful, you can control your money no matter how expensive groceries are. You can actually control your future through your spending and your saving in Ramsey Solutions, and The Ramsey Show is here to help you do it. We don't care what Jerome Powell does at the end of the day because he doesn't have a freaking clue and we are in control of our money. We got you. Don't worry about the headlines. This is The Ramsey Show.